as the the team is getting ready, I want to introduce somebody um, that have <laughs> been introduced to today, and he's he's incredible. Today we're celebrating parents and stewardship, uh, but we are also celebrating children. The children who have been modeled to, or bef the parents have modeled uh, great things before them, and these children are picking after their parents. And we're celebrating this child as we celebrate their parents. And so I want to introduce to us the one and only Samuel. Samuel, would you please come back to where I am? I feel like the crowd should be screaming your name right now. <laughs> How are you, Samuel? Please I'm shake fine. my hand. Shake my hand. Come stand here next to me. So you're going to face that camera, OK? Yes. Tell us your name and what you do. How old are you? Praise God. Amen. My name is Pastor Samuel Mukunja. Mm -hmm. My dream is to become a journalist and a motivational speaker. And I would like to encourage you the rain may wet the leopard skin, but it will never wash away its spots. Nice. That means challenges may hit you, but not bring you down. And if you're down, you're not out. I come from Elroy Children's Home, and I'm 11 years old. Wow, you're only 11? Yes. So when did you know that you could preach? And, and when did you start preaching? I started preaching when I was four years. When I saw our pastor preaching, I said, oh, I want to be like that guy. And from that day, I said that my dream will become a pastor. Oh, great. So you want to be a journalist, a motivational speaker, and also a pastor. Yes. OK. What is your favorite scripture in, in, in the Bible, the favorite verse? My favorite verse is Luke chapter 18, verse 43 and 44. Mm -hmm. What does it say? And there was a woman who had had a flow of blood for 12 years and could not be healed by anyone came up behind him and touched the fridge of his garments. Mm. And immediately, her flow of blood stopped. Amen. Wow, this is amazing. I don't know what I was doing at 11 years old. And do you, do you feel like sometimes, <laughs> yeah, maybe I didn't, I knew how to talk. Director is saying I didn't know how to talk, I knew. So do you have people in your class who you also, you're in class five, right? Yes. Do you have people in your class who you preach to? Yes. Okay, so would you want to preach for us? Yes. Okay, stand here. I want to let you be so that you look like you're in a church, yeah? And imagine these are people watching, people listening to you in a church, yeah? And you preach. Okay, preach for us. Our reading of today comes from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 18, verse 4. And it says, Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the Father, as well as the soul, as the soul of the Son, is mine. But the soul that sin shall die. Praise God. Praise God again. We would like to start with the word of prayer. Heavenly Father, King of Kings, we come before you. We thank you for the gift of life that you have given us. We thank you for the people of NTV. May you cover them with the blood of Jesus. We thank you for our parents. May you bless them wherever they are. As I'm going to preach, may you use me as your vessel so that everyone can understand what you're telling us. And it is in Jesus' name I pray, trusting and believing. From this word, we learn three key lessons. One, we all belong to God. Two, we will be judged individually. Three, we must repent. Coming back to point one, we all belong to God. We all know God is our father and we are his children. And he wants us to do the best so that we can live with him in heaven. And when he created us, he said, wonderful, you are wonderful. You are wonderfully and fearfully created. Some of you may ask, am I wonderful? With all my sins and suffering, do I really belong to God? Wait, let me tell you. It doesn't matter whether you are a saint or a sinner. It doesn't matter whether you are a child or an adult, male or female, black or white, rich or poor, sick or not, Learned or, or not, what, what matters is you belong to God and you are his. Because God does not start by asking us our ability, but our availability. When we prove our dependability, he increases our capability. Coming to point two, we will be judged individually. Most of us suffer because of the sins and curses of our parents and ancestors. We don't suffer necessarily because it is our mistake. No. What then 
Pastor Samuel Mukunja, should I do? You may ask. Look, I know we can't go back and change the dull and blur past, but we can do something right now and here to make a new beginning and a brighter future. Praise God. We, you see, it doesn't matter whether our parents or ancestors were witches or wizards, liars or thieves, rebels or outcasts. What matters is, no matter how black a cow is, the milk is always white. There is hope in us. For example, I, Pastor Samuel Mukunja, want to be a TV representer. But with hope, I know the beginning might start now. Though our past had its misgiving, thank God it is our heritage, the present, our reality, the, uh, the future, our ultimate challenge. We must challenge ourselves to be on the right side of life. We must do good to humanity. We must serve God so at the end we will leave this world a better place than we found it. Praise God. At the end, we must repent. Sadly, the wages of sin is death. Look, we can easily understand a child who is afraid of dark, but what of an adult who is afraid of the light? Though the wages of sin is death, the good news is that God is God of mercy and he responds to repentance. Repentance is free, but please remember, you are too wonderful to be wasted. You are too godly to go to hell. You are too, you are too blessed to be cursed. You are too freed by God to be, to be stressed. I challenge you today to get out of the house and look directly at the sun. Look directly, at the, look directly to the sun and the shadow falls right behind you. Turn to God and the devil will be behind you. As I finish, I would like to encourage you. The fact that you are still alive means that God is not yet done with you. And that's the word of today. Amen. Oh my goodness. What did you hear that? There are three points that he said. One, we are all children of God. Yes. Number two, everybody will be judged, will be judged individually. individually. And three, we should repent. Yes. That is from the scripture that we, we have today, Ezekiel. 18 verse 4. Mm -hmm. That is our verse of the day. And she, he said something very profound that no matter how much the leopard will be rained on, it will never take the spots away. It might look wet, but it's not going to take the spots away. Yes. Who teaches you all those things? I learned this from my, from my brother. Mm -hmm. His name is Charles Odiambo. Mm -hmm. He studies at the University of Nairobi. Oh, wow. He's also a preacher like you? No. He's not? Yes. And how do you preach? Do you read the Bible a lot? Yes. How often do you read your Bible? I read my Bible in the morning when I wake up, mm -hmm. sometimes when I don't have anything to do, mm -hmm. and at the night when I'm going to sleep. Okay. Okay. So you read your Bible almost all the time? Yes. Okay. So let's move in front because we look like we're going to go into that screen. So just look at this uh, camera and tell children your age who don't think they can be this confident to speak some of the things that you would want them to tell them, want you tell them. Any encouragement you want to give them? Yes. Okay. To you children, all our dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Mm -hmm. If you're afraid of doing what God has given you, then the Lord might take it away. Mm -hmm. So use what you have with the time you have been given. Amen. And everybody is capable, right? Yes. Okay, that's great. Okay, there you have it, Pastor Samuel. Pastor Samuel is uh, 11 year old. I'm, I'm just, you know, challenged. I don't know what I was doing at 11 years, but anyway, we thank God. Okay, I hear that we have MC Prize on standby. Wait fast, do you want to say something? Final word? Yes. Okay, so what do you want to say, final word? I would like to tell the children who are watching that in anything you do, I wish you success for success, wish to a successful successor like you succeed successfully. <laughs> repeat that. Because I, like I cannot to, repeat it for you, repeat it. I would like to wish you success for success, wish to a successful successor like you 
succeed successfully.